नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एन डी ए ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट पार्ट कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग डेटा फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री आइटम्स एंड द डेटा इज लाइक दिस देर आर नाइंटी एप्लीकेंट्स फॉर अ जॉब सम ऑफ देम आर ग्रेजुएट्स सम ऑफ देम आर हैविंग लेस देन थ्री ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस सो देर आर टोटल नाइंटी एप्लीकेंट्स फॉर अ जॉब एंड आउट ऑफ दिस नाइंटी सम ऑफ देम आर graduates and some of them are having less than 3 years experience now this is the complete table they have given if we look at this table carefully we understand that here we have the at least 3 years experience students and less than 3 years experience students and these are the number of graduate students and these are the number of non graduate students so if you look at this what are these 18 applicants these 18 applicants are the graduates they are graduates and they are having at least 3 years of experience so i can say that there are 18 applicants who are graduates and having less than 3 years experience similarly these 9 applicants are non graduates and having the less than 3 years experience similarly 36 are graduates and having less than 3 years experience and these 27 are non graduates but having less than 3 years experience so based on this we have to solve following three questions and in that question we have the two symbols that is g and t these are the two events now what are these two events let g be the event that the first applicant interviewed is a graduate so g indicates the graduate student is selected for the interview and t be the event that the first applicant interviewed has at least 3 years experience so t event is about the at least 3 years experience so if we see the first question what is the p of g intersection t dash now t is at least 3 years experience so what will be t dash it is less than 3 years experience so if i write this table in terms of g and g dash now the g event is the graduate students and the non graduate student becomes a g dash because it's a complementary similarly they have said that the t is having the at least 3 years experience so at least 3 years experience becomes t so of course the less than 3 years experience become a t dash that is a complementary event now the question becomes very simple what they are saying is in the first question probability of g intersection t dash so where is g this is my g and where is t dash this is my t dash so i want this intersection so there are 36 students who are graduates and having less than 3 years experience so the answer to this question is 36 that is 36 out of so these are the favorable options okay out of 90 so 36 out of 90 this is what my answer is so the answer to this question is it's nothing but it's a 2 by 5 okay so this 2 by 5 is what the answer for this question 18 2s are 36 and 18 5s are 90 the next question what is what is the probability of g given t dash so this slash is nothing but the given means it is a conditional probability so in the denominator whatever the event is there that is a t dash this event has already occurred means your sample space will reduce to this t dash so probability of g given t dash means if the t dash that is the less than 3 years experience student is selected for an interview then what is the probability that he will be graduate now see here in this the t dash event has already occurred means they have selected a candidate who is having less than 3 years experience so how many candidates are there less than 3 years experience 36 plus 27 so there are total 63 candidates who are having less than 3 years experience so this question says that a t dash student is already selected so my sample space is 63 so out of 
how many are the graduates so what is the graduate probability so graduate is here so 36 is what they have graduates so out of these 63 t dash how many are graduates this is what the simple question is so it is 36 so what is my answer is it's a 36 divided by 63 which is nothing but so it goes 1 and 2 and this goes by 21 and this is 4 and this is 7 so 4 by 7 is what my answer for this question next the last question what is the t dash given g dash so similarly as we have solved for this question here in the denominator you are having g dash means this event has already happened so g dash means a non graduate student is selected so let's see how many non graduate students are there so 9 plus 27 these are the non graduate students and they are in 36 in numbers they are non graduate students so out of this 36 they want a t dash so what is the probability of selecting a t dash student out of 36 so where is t dash then so this is my t dash and this is what my already happened event so 27 are there which are having less than 3 years experience and out of 36 so if i put everything my answer will be like this so 27 which are t dash and out of 36 so if you solve this you will get this as 3 by 4 so what is my answer is 3 by 4 is answer for this question thank you